In part four of the test, you listen to two recordings and answer two questions on each recording. The first answer is a yes or no, and you only get that question after you listen the first time. Then when you listen the second time, the assessor will give you a question before you listen, and again after you listen. It's just one question, and you can write down some notes if you want. This is the listening task. You are going to hear two texts. I will play the first text and you will answer questions. Then I will play the second text and you will answer questions. Now I will play the first text. Good morning everybody. The class trip this year is to a farm. It is about 30 miles away and a minibus is taking us there. There are about 200 cows on the farm and a factory. They make cheese and yoghurt in the factory. There are chickens and goats and a cafe for visitors. We are leaving at 10 a.m. and getting back here by 5.30 p.m. The minibus is free, but we need to have some money for food or we can bring something with us to eat and drink. If we want, we can climb to the top of a hill to see the view. There is also a lovely old house in the village. We can visit it in the afternoon. So, it is very important to wear comfortable shoes and not high heels. Jasmine, please answer yes or no. Is this about a class trip? Maria, please answer yes or no. Is this about a trip to a fair? Thank you. You will now listen to the text again. This time I'm going to give you some questions before you listen. Jasmine, how will they travel to the farm? And Maria, where can they go in the afternoon? Please listen again. The class trip this year is to a farm. It is about 30 miles away and a minibus is taking us there. There are about 200 cows on the farm and a factory. They make cheese and yoghurt in the factory. There are chickens and goats and a cafe for visitors. We are leaving at 10 a.m and getting back here by 5.30 p.m. The minibus is free, but we need to have some money for food or we can bring something with us to eat and drink. If we want, we can climb to the top of a hill to see the view. There is also a lovely old house in the village. We can visit it in the afternoon. So, it is very important to wear comfortable shoes and not high heels. Jasmine, how will they travel to the farm? Maria, where can they go in the afternoon? Thank you. Now I will play the second text. Please listen and then answer the questions. I'm really worried about my children. Why? Last week they only played out once. They went out to play football in the park. We live in a block of flats in the town centre. The children can't play out on their own because it's too dangerous. So they sit on the sofa and play games on the computer or they watch TV. 
This can't be a healthy way to live. They don't talk to each other, and they eat quickly so they can get back to the computer. Why don't you go to the council and ask about moving? Yes, I did that last week. The man at the council wasn't very helpful. He didn't think I would get a better home just so my children can play out. I'm very worried about my children. Jasmine, please answer yes or no. Is this about a mother who is worried about her children? Maria, please answer yes or no. Is this about children having an unhealthy life? Thank you. You will now listen to the text again. This time I'm going to give you some questions before you listen. Jasmine, where does the family live? And Maria, why do the children eat quickly? Please listen again. I'm really worried about my children. Why? Last week they only played out once. They went out to play football in the park. We live in a block of flats in the town centre. The children can't play out on their own because it's too dangerous. So they sit on the sofa and play games on the computer, or they watch TV. This can't be a healthy way to live. They don't talk to each other, and they eat quickly so they can get back to the computer. Why don't you go to the council and ask about moving? Yes, I did that last week. The man at the council wasn't very helpful. He didn't think I would get a better home just so my children can play out. I'm very worried about my children. Jasmine, where does the family live? And Maria, why do the children eat quickly? Thank you. Now I'd like to finish the assessment with a discussion. What do you think about children playing games on computers and mobile phones rather than playing outside in the fresh air? And what are the good, th and good things and bad things about children using computers? Thank you. This is the end of your assessment.